Hi, I'm Loredana Krista, the developer of Ouroboros VG Editor, and I welcome you to our mathematical graphs and symmetry tutorial. We are starting with a fresh canvas, and the first thing to do is add an element. In our case, a parametrized because it has parameters, a parametrized mathematical graph in polar coordinates. So this is a polar rose given by this formula, but I will actually use a logarithmic spiral. We can't see it yet because we have a scale of 400. So let's put one on it. And change a bit this x angle value. This is the range for the x angle here. And have a step of 0 0.2. This is the distance between two points. For example, if we put 0 0.5, you can see um, clearly the distance between points. And then click on generate path. So we have our path here. And we can edit it. Let's close the path and change the appearance, make, make it a little bluish and change the, the stroke width from 8 to 2, even 1. It seems too bulky. And then let's click line symmetry. I have a little nasty bug here, so click on the background then then click reload and we'll select these again. And let me put 12 repetitions here. I'll zoom out a little bit. And again, change the coordinates for the virtual line. And let's see, we get something nice. If we want further edit, we can select path. And it selects the original path that we used. Um, and we can even edit the points. These black ones are the actual points of the path. And if we click a white point, it will make another one. And now we can see the live editing part. Let's zoom out and zoom in. Again, and you can see how you get live feedback from this. Um, we can leave it this way, or you can add another point, make it a little more complex. Anyway, it's enough. So we can, to, to select this, we shift and drag. And we can click on generate path. Okay, this gives us a single path, and we can get the source from actions and source. This is the source of the path, and we can add it to whatever we like. Um, let's return to this spiral and generate another path. And let's use point symmetry this time. Again, that bug, so we click away and then click reload. Select it again. We kind of forgot to edit the path, so... But then again, we can edit it later. Let's put 45 repetitions. and play a bit with it. If we want to see a little better, let's put a um, stroke of one to this. Bluish fill color, and we can close the path again. Again, shift and drag to select this. We can add rotations to it, for example, 
three rotations with a minus 10 scale, which uh, minus 90. Uh, well, let's put minus 10. Um, so you can zoom into it and see where it goes. Let's rotate the path. And you can see if every other path will rotate with it. And if you, for example, shift and click, you will get a curve. And you can edit that curve and, and do anything you would like with it. Even try to get this right at the center and you can also zoom inside to, to see if you are precise enough. Okay, and it looks pretty interesting. Another thing that I would like to show you um, is a couple of formulas that I found that were very interesting. For example, Oscar's butterfly. This is too little, so we have to put a bigger scale, let's say 200. And the step is too big, so let's put a 0 0.05. And it looks nice. Um, I want to clone this. So you can also use Alt plus C uh, from clone and it clones it. Uh, this is moved around by the parameters and let me show you the other formula. I don't know how this uh, is named. But it looked nice. So this is it. Go to orobo.ro and try it out. And give a feedback if you like what you see or you have ideas, other ideas that I can implement. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.